Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We have a great show this Labor Day weekend. Books, glamorous galas, and festivals you won't want to miss. But first, let's talk beef, a very special kind of beef. That's what they'll be serving up at a new restaurant coming to San Francisco, and it is called Itoryu Gozu. And here with a delicious sample from the menu is chef and owner Mark Zimmerman. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thanks for having me. Okay, so I hope I said Itoryu Gozu correctly. That's right. Okay. That's right. All right, good, good. We're starting this off great. <laughs> so you brought a very lovely dish with you, but first let's talk about the restaurant. This is exciting for you. Sure. Uh, you have a lot of experience with food and being a chef, but this is actually your first restaurant you're owning. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Very exciting. So congratulations for that. Thank the you. restaurant opens up in early October. That's right. Okay. And so you specialize in beef. Yeah, it's a uh, Wagyu beef. So over over the past 10 years, I've been doing a lot of research and working in Japan with farmers. And so we're kind of showcasing like the nuance and the versatility of the, the breed rather than just kind of a, a steakhouse characteristic. You also have a zero waste program. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we're working all the way down to bones and making charcoal from bones. We're using a lot of the fat, a lot of the lean meat, uh, all those kinds of things as far as we develop the menus. Why is that so important for you? Because the animals die, right? Um, a lot goes into these animals. They're, they're dying for us to eat, and I think it's disrespectful if we don't consume all of it. So we have a lot of foodies in the Bay Area, of course. Absolutely. But for people out there that may not know the difference between Wagyu beef, which is pretty special, um, and just a regular old steak. Sure. Wagyu, I mean, most of the meat that you're, you're eating in the United States is Angus beef. Um, Wagyu beef comes from Japan, uh, generally. There's some Americans that are breeding it, but it's a Japanese breed. It's got a beautiful predisposition to, to marble. Um, the, the fat content is even a little bit different where you're talking about a lot of monounsaturated fats. Uh, and it's really easy, especially for a restaurant like us, to be able to utilize everything. Uh, most pieces can be just cut and grilled similar to steaks. All right, and what did you bring with yeah. you today? This looks lovely. So this dish is part of um, a 15 dish tasting that we do on the menu. And, and as I said before, everything is kind of focused with the, the nuance of the animal. So we've got a corn puree that's been made with uh, Brentwood white corn. There's a little bit of rendered wagyu fat that's kind of folded into that. So you've got this, this roasted beefy flavor. Um, there's also a little bit of onion in there. There's leeks. Uh, we've got some local uni. We've got some pickled corn. Uh, and then we've got a Essentially, it's a, a shoyu that's made from koji and the trimmings of the beef um, and a little bit of salt. And so it's kind of like a beef soy sauce. Um, and so we'll dress that out at the counter mm -hmm. um, just like that. So a lot of what we focus on is, is getting into the nuance. Of course, there's courses where it's just a piece of meat that you're eating, but there's a lot of things that go into it that, yeah. that diversify it. Well, this obviously looks delicious. Like I said, you've had a lot of experience, but you did spend time in Japan getting to know more about the food. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, and every little detail, it, it seems like it has meaning, it's even the seating in your restaurant. Yeah, yeah, everything is done with intent. Um, and we wanted to set, when I designed this, I wanted to set out for, for a couple things. We wanted to make it a restaurant that we can make money in. Um, one that's another restaurant that the staff can enjoy their life and enjoy what they're doing. So we've created a very beautiful environment there. Um, and we've also made it so we can pay people a little bit more. We can provide health care, things like that, that, that we're kind of missing in the Bay Area. All right. Well, yeah. it sounds like a great restaurant. It has a lot of meaning to it. And good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Opens up in early October. That's right. All right. Thank Exciting you. Exciting stuff. Remember, Gozu is opening soon. It is at 201 Spear Street in Soma, right near the Embarcadero. And that is coming up in October. And we'll be taking reservations in early October. So for more information, you can go to the website, gozusf.com. Coming up, the San Francisco Symphony's opening night gala with Michael Tilson Thomas when Bay Area Focus continues in just a moment.